Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the exquisite Flynn, Son of Crimson. Now this was developed by Studio Thunderhorse, published by Humble Games and would usually be available for just $16.74 but right now is free if you have Xbox Game Pass so as I always say, go get the hell out of Game Pass now! Anyway, we play as Flynn and his fluffy wuffy companion Dex as they have to go on an adventure as their home Rosantica is under threat by a large group of nobodies with small wieners. Very much like every other terrorist organisation then. It's an accidental find which thrust Flynn upon this adventure but after the shit he's about to see, well, he's going to have some stories to tell. Now achievements wise, the list isn't too bad and it's only not that bad thanks to the devs putting in the no player damage cheat which we can use to avoid being hurt at all. So for the sake of this being just an achievement guide, we will be pl playing pl 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 playing <laughs> with invincibility mode on. This would have been a very tough completion to do legit otherwise. So there's a few story related progressions, we've got to find 20 relics, complete 6 challenges and do a few different weapon combo hits. Um, it's not too bad and I've got a timestamp below with every level, relic and challenge in order so you don't miss anything. So, the first thing we've got to do, go to options, go to accessibility and put the no player damage to on. That is the one that we're going to need. You can leave everything else if you want. Uh, piss around with the music and the uh, however loud or quiet I want it, whatever. Otherwise, we can just start a new game. Easy, normal or hard, it's not going to matter. Although, if you do it on easy, the enemies go down a little bit quicker. So, you get the completion done quicker. So, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to actually get another missable, achieve, uh, <laughs> missable achievement we can get at the very beginning of the game. As we speak to this monkey-looking guy on the left, just skip through all the dialogue, smash in the A button, and we're going to get ourselves a delicious 0G achievement. God, how we miss those 0G achievements. So it may take a few seconds to pop there, but wow, rude, will unlock, and that is for skipping Borin's dialogue. So if you end up missing that, um, just start a new game, and that's fine. So going into the house then, we find this sword, and then we can just head all the way to the right. And by the way, I didn't actually finish off, I was about to say. So, <laughs> by the way, you could be looking, if we press the X button there to attack and head out, you're looking at around four to five, maybe six hours to complete this, and I hope you enjoy because this little bugger drained me. So with that being said anyway, let us finally begin. And we're coming into the major first level now, which is called Wild Edge Grove. And everything's lovely. Now we're thinking that we're just going on a tiny little adventure. Nothing else is going to happen. You know, we're just having to mess around with a wooden sword, which doesn't really cut or do anything. But oh, how wrong are we about to be? And so this is... Uh, Basically, it plays more hours as a tutorial, so these big red diamonds, we're going to need... This, that's basically a big main mechanic of the game, where we have to open up certain doors by hitting and finding those red diamond doors. Um, these gems here, we are going to need to collect a lot of these in order to get the all skilled out achievement. So just hit the door on the left there, and there's going to be one. So to climb, you press up on the D-pad or on the left stick as well. Um, but yes, so we need to basically get every skill in our skill tree and that is going to take a lot of gems, so even though we can just run through enemies, which you can do a lot um, legitimately anyway, you can just run through a lot of enemies uh, anyway, it's probably worth just killing some or killing quite a few on your way to get uh, some, you know, as many gems as you can so you don't do the old big dogging grind after. So if you jump up to a ledge, you can hang on. Haha, ha. you can't spit at me because we are steroid infused and we are invincible. Even though we have smart bars to show it, but that's fine. So, yep, you press the B button, that will give you a little roll. So, you know, if you if you are playing this, if you are following this and playing it legitimately, um, every time an enemy goes to attack, just go ahead and press the B button to do a little sort of dodge roll. And that will, uh, you know, stop you getting hurt. <laughs> it's mad. That's what you can do in real life then, so if somebody goes to, if you're in a fight and somebody goes to punch you in real life, just do a quick dodge roll and then they'll get confused and leave you alone, apparently. So, that, but that's what I'm doing then, so even though we do have the invincibility mode on, um, oh by the way, here we are coming up to one Eric Cartman fat guy called Bax, now we need to speak to this guy in four different locations, so this is where the first one is. 
I mean, man, this guy is just an absolute tragedy. He's got snot blown out of his nose, and he's dribbling like hell, and he's got big, big-ass spots on him. That's, uh, well, that's a guy who's never going to get a lead in his life. Not like this guy. We're going to climb up. We're going to find this guy's hat, and we're going to go ahead and give it to him. Bogey, or Beagie. I'm going to call it Bogey. Bogey's funnier. Anyway, this guy has seen his fair share of nanny. Unlike Bax, who is, like I said, just one big tragic fat lad. It's unfortunate. So here we're thinking then, ah, oh, well that was a nice adventure, now we'll take a nap. Until shit starts to go real wrong. Um, also, in terms of commentary, just to get everything out now, in terms of commentary, um, a lot of the gameplay ends up being the sort of same in terms of the enemies that you've got to kill, um, things to do to progress the story, so I'm not going to be talking through absolutely every single level, you know, because Christ, four hours of my voice and you're going to want to literally chop your ears off, you're going to want to get Mike Tyson and bite your ears off, hearing me for four hours, but we are coming up to our first relic now, so if we grab this box and then jump up, again, kill the plants, the Mario plants, kill them, kill them, you don't have to if you want, but if you kill this one, go to the left and you will see a book just in this hidden area, that is, we can get the achievement called Ooh Shiny. Ooh, <laughs> scary! What the frick was that, man? But that will also be our first of twenty relics. Now there is one in almost every level. Oh, this guy looks sick. We better put him out of our misery. Uh, you can speak to every character as well if you want. Um, see what they got to say. But well, they usually bore me with that. So <laughs> well, they can just go suck on a Mario plant. Uh, but yes, so we got 20 relics to find. There's one in almost every level. Of course, I will be telling you where they are. And in terms of the challenges as well, we'll come to that a little bit later on. So, yeah, I think I've got everything covered. Jesus Christ. So, uh, we'll be have to do a bit of running now. So, sprint. Uh, just keep rolling. As soon as you hit that diamond there, climb up to the middle here. And what this is going to do is actually open the door, but you have a limited time to get through. So, that's why you've got to be... As a quicker as a Yakana. And uh, yeah, so this is the end of the tutorial, the end of the first level. Press up on the D pad here to end the level. And there we go, look at that, already seven minutes in. And we've only got roughly around three and f <laughs> three hours and a half left. So, well, <sighs> strap yourselves in, baby boys and baby girls, because we've got a long while to go. So, heading into you. A lot of the time you will get these sort of short levels as well, um, in between all the long, killy, stabby, try not to die e uh, levels. So there we go, after we stop hearing things in our head, we're going to press up to go into this little shrine. Keep heading to the right for now, and we are going to be involved in a fight with, I want to say the main, the main area, but, I mean, these are kids, so, uh, you know, we, we've got a wooden sword, you know where kids who like each other on the playground sort of pinch each other and punch each other in the back of the heads and, you know, headbutt them and stuff, it, it, was that a thing or was that just my school? I don't think anybody liked me, hmm, I think I'm, uh, taking the pay, I, I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, she's going to kick our ass first, so don't worry that the health is going down. This uh, this is part of the story, this is going to happen, so we die already. And there we go, job done. That, that's the game. Like I said, that would be a jetalon game with no problems. In fact, I'm surprised one's lasted this long, actually, if it was a jetalon game. Right, so, Rosia. I think we are both hot for each other, but uh, she apparently doesn't feel that way, but um, whatever. Attack, attack, attack. And basically, this is going to be another main prominent feature a little bit later on, as soon as uh, we upgrade a few more things. The anger gets <laughs> gets the best of us, and we attack like hell. Sadly, our Fluffy Wuffy has a little incident. Yeah, Fluffy Wuffy! Oh, look, he's so tiny. Man, that Rosier is... What a hot-ass bitch. But a bitch nonetheless. She killed my dog! Give a goddamn dog. <laughs> hey, 
Anyway, enough crying over your dog. We will see Dex later. We're going to head to the next level. <clears throat> and this is where things, again, we, I mean, we'll, we'll be learning a lot throughout the next sort of six or seven levels anyway. So, also, you know, what I'm trying to do as well, I'm trying to cater to those who want to do the game legitimately as well. So, I'm not just blasting through enemies and blasting through all the spikes and everything. I do try and find a lot of ways around spikes, etc, etc. But this is how you heal. Basically, these green sort of spikes in the ground, you hit them and you get enough orbs. Um, as soon as the, all the orbs are filled up, you can press and hold the Y button there, and that will heal you slightly. It doesn't heal you all the way, it heals you only slightly. So, just be aware of that for the older legendary hardcore legitimate players. Not the uh, fanny players like myself, who's cheating of course. But hey, we, we've all got lives to live, you know, we can't be spending 25 hours on a game just to get pissed off and angry with it. Can we? Uh, so again, you don't have to be, you know, if you are playing with the invisibility mode on, you don't have to um, smash through all the enemies. It's probably worth doing at this point, though, since these little assholes are getting on my nerves. But all we need to do then is just push two of these boxes in the holes right there, and that will get the ladder up for us. And moving on, we shall. <laughs> going to be learning a little bit more again so we can cast magic so if you press the left trigger it basically shoots this ball of magic energy because you know that's that's exactly what we like you know kind of like um acid mario plants there but you know better because we are red-headed and beautiful um but i don't particularly use it all that much in all fairness the magic but it does come in handy um, I mean, I, and I tell you what, it does come in handy again if you are playing this legitimately. It comes in handy to shoot and kill a lot of the enemies far away, so you don't get licked out like Mario Plant here. I'm a little boy. Stop licking me out. You're a plant. Why are you licking me? It's wrong. It's wrong. But um, anyway, anyway. We are coming up to the second missable relic. They are very easily missed, so as we jump right down here, instead of going across the rope, just stick with the left hand wall, um, hit those if you want to, but if you keep heading left, we're going to find our second relic. Again, there's going to be a timestamp in the comments section below with everything in absolute order, so hopefully you won't miss a thing, otherwise we can just head down and keep on jumping down. Uh, but I was going to say, with the reason why there's not going to be as much commentary as usual is because these paths generally are quite linear. Um, there's only a, you know, there's only sometimes where you'll have to go off the path a little bit, um, but generally if you do see me going off the path, that's only to collect um, some more red gems. Uh, otherwise, I'll obviously let you know if there's a reason that I'm doing it. You know. So uh, yeah, but that's that'll be why then these paths are quite linear, fraught with danger and things that want to kill us. I mean, we're just a little boy. Who wants to kill a little boy? Unless, you know, they've um, turned into Bart Simpson or, you know, made love to your cat or stuck your hamster in a blender or something. You know, that that's fair enough. That'll be understandable. But um, otherwise, nobody wants to harm little boys. It's not good. Anyway, here is where we can cast the magic. Uh, so do one for that one and the one on the left-hand side. So just jump over to the left-hand side. There's going to be another diamond for us to push. And that will get us our way through. Who blends hamsters, by the way? I hope that's not a thing. Um, I think it's a snack in some countries, isn't it? Hey, boy.
Right then, so... Yeah, obviously, every time we finish a level, we are just going to be going to the next spot. There's, there's going to be a couple of times where we have to go back to certain levels, which, of course, I'll let you know. Oh, by the way, this is where the start of my ex-girlfriend's faces show up. So we will be fighting quite a few <laughs> trolls <laughs> through the game. No offense to my ex-girlfriends, they're not all too bad, except the ones who kicked me around. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You trash eating stink bags. Anyway, so, and I assume you will probably be feeling the same, guys and girls. These are probably your exes as well, so I hope you have fun hitting, killing, and destroying your um, troll exes. Ech. Anyway, Magic Harp got an upgrade for, <laughs> for this game. It's an angry little bastard. So again, just keep, uh, keep following where I'm going for now. Just keep following the linear path. Uh, you can swim underwater if you want. And I'll obviously be letting you know as soon as we come up to one ass relock. Although, yeah, I did forget to mention, you can pick up any barrels and rocks um, by pressing up the D-pad and throwing it with the X button. Uh, we'll be getting a certain achievement later on where basically we can pick up a barrel or a rock and then if you press the down on the D-pad, um, it'll drop on an enemy's head. We need to do that, I think, four or five consecutive times. But they're easy enough. Again, show you when we come up to it. Righty Mo, a couple of times these are going to happen throughout the game. There's doors that are going to close behind you and you've got to fight certain enemies. It's usually only two or three at a time. Um, so again, legit. If you're doing this legit and hardcore, then god damn I respect you and I want your babies. Uh, but we are coming up to another relic now. So you see this exclamation mark? We're going to head down into the water instead of going right. And then, as soon as we get to this part, we can just jump up, grab a couple of these. Uh, but what we actually need to do is hit this button. And it's going to get this, like, well, we're going to get sprayed up. So hit it with your magic, jump up, grab the third out of 20 relic. Um, and then what you have to do is go, go all the way back to the left, jump up, and then you can just carry on as normal. Man, magic carp got steroided up for this one. But, <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, with, again, with the um, legitimate hardcore, I want your baby players. Um, dodging, rolling, pressing the B button is going to be your best friend for this one. And the LT for pressing magic. Going to be your best friends for this one. Otherwise, if you're cheating and uh, doing it the... Well, it's not even the fanny way, is it? It's the more enjoyable, relaxing way, we'll call it. Because it is. You don't want to be... You don't want to be stressed in work. Be pissed off all day, and then have to come home and then get pissed off at the game as well. But uh, otherwise, for <laughs> players of such convenience, we can obviously just go up to an enemy and spit in the face and there's nothing they can do about it. But anyway, keep killing enemies and heading to the right. <laughs> By the way, as soon as you pick up these explosive bombs, you need to be quick because they will detonate immediately. So, get your ass up, throw it against the rocks. And again, this is going to be another big mechanic of the game uh, where we have to get through certain places. It's all it, it all takes getting used to, but it's all very relatively quick.
so here we go then that one's all good now we come up to hollows isles now basically what we have to do um, there'll be a lot of these where we have to fight a sort of mini boss if you will straight away again using the B button gonna be your best friend again if you're playing this legit otherwise just keep spamming the X button but we are gonna be coming up now to what I call challenge 1.1 so basically there's three parts mainly in each challenge and we have to do something so if we speak to Jungo the fisherman hello Jungo so basically he's going to give us a sort of mini side quest as soon as you do that side quest um, we can come back to him get the key off him and then go and do the challenge because here is the challenge door which of course we can't open at the minute so you can just keep on going to the right um, and then we can head on up to a wilder falls but that is how challenges usually are so it's normally you speak to someone sometimes they give you a key straight away and you can do the challenge straight away other times you've got to do a quick side quest for them but um, so yeah so in the timestamps you'll see as challenge 1.1 so we have to speak to Junga first and then we'll come back to him and do that challenge a bit later on otherwise again we can just simply move on Uh, by the way guys, I hope that the pace of the video isn't too bad. I tried going as sort of fast slash slow as I could so you could keep up. Um, but apologies if it is just a little bit too fast for you. Uh, this is one of those sort of fast paced kind of games. Uh, so um, hit Darth Emperor Zerg from Toy Story. Again, a lot, of, a lot of these creatures and everything have had an upgrade. You got Magikarp and Emperor Zerg, bloody hell. And here we are, coming up to another freaking relic. So, with this box, don't push it down yet. We're going to pull it back on ourselves and we're going to climb up. Wait until the uh, things are coming out of the water. Head to the next left and then we've got a nice masquerade mask. You know, one of the sexy masks, which I don't know why Flynn's going to need that. He's just a young lad. Although he is hardcore and a lot better than, than most men and women. Because if I went up to one enemy with an explosive bomb, you could guarantee I'd be dead as hell. <laughs> anyway, keep pushing the box down, all the way down, and we need to fill the hole with said box. Move on to the left. Everybody are happy. All except the Mario. Ready? Ready? <laughs> See, that's how much you die. Uh, but if you do die, luckily, it just puts us right back into the same spot that we just were. So, none of those awful, awful annoying checkpoints that you do get in certain video games where it puts you back like 5-10 minutes. And that is just an absolute ball quitter when that happens. Again, just be careful, you know, there's no need to rush. 
Um, although, like I said, if you do die, it just puts you straight back in the same spot. So, well, by all means, rush if you want. Right then, so now that we've got, you know, a lot of the game sort of out of the way in, in terms of tutorial and you know what you're doing, we are now coming up to the home hub, which is called Sanctia. So you can, um, when you're on the map, you can press the white button to come here as many times as you want, if you just need to chill out or whatever. Um, but go ahead and speak to old Dojo Master Emmett. Kind of, um, kind of looks like a Lego head. And then just head into the building. Take a nice, hard, relaxing nap and wake up deliciously and all good. But the first thing we're going to be doing is grabbing a relic as soon as we talk to Yombal, the <laughs> worst evolution of Snorlax. He got a downgraded Snorlax this time, but this time next to the Dojo Master thing, we're going to head up. We're going to do a big jump and roll over to the next roof and then grab the next relic. So to do that, jump as high as you can, press B when you're at the top height. And that's how you get over to the other side of the roof. Otherwise, we can head to the right and then head underground. Basically, what we're going to be doing now is completing our first challenge. So, head all the way to the left. Uh, we can't head up there yet. We need the wall climbing ability, which, of course, we don't have because we are just noob. And we grab a key. Lovely. So, now, I'm not entirely sure if you can just quit the level. When you grab a key or a relic, I think you're able to just quit the level, um, but I didn't want to risk that. I couldn't be asked, to be honest. Uh, so what I do is just go up and technically sort of finish the level, if you will. And you do that just by going all the way to the right. Uh, don't worry about this kid. She just stinks. So no offense, no liar. Ah, what a name. No liar. Anyway, so, when we get the key, what we can do is actually head back down <clears throat> and head into the Wild Edge Retreat. Again, this is what happens a lot. So, you have to play through, again, the first bit of the level. Uh, but there is a door which we couldn't access earlier on because we didn't have the key, which we do now have. But, like I said, that happens th uh, for all challenges. You find a key in one level and you have to go back to another level in order to access that door, in order to access that challenge, to complete the challenge. <gasps> oh, and then, you know, it all kicks off from there. Uh, but otherwise, just keep playing this level as normal, pushing the boxes into the holes. Hey, if you're old enough, you've had enough experience of pushing things into holes, you'll have no problem doing this. You know, unless you're not very good at it. In which case, uh, my sincerest apologies. As said, challenge door. So instead of going up, do not go up this time. Just keep heading to the right, and there is the door. Of course, with the key, we wouldn't have got this before. Uh, press up on the D pad, and then what happens is you can, you know, technically finish the level. Um, but what will happen is a new level will appear, so we can just head straight straight there. The Wild Dead challenge. Every challenge normally is it's just a clear enemy waves. So. It's usually about two, two and a half minutes of just killing enemies. 
again, this would this is why this game would have been an absolute challenge to complete, especially the later levels if you're doing this legit. But by all means, give it a go legit. See how far you can get. See how pissed off you can get before <laughs> chucking invincibility on. Otherwise, just kill all the enemies. You're going to get a crap ton of gems, which, of course, you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner. You can't see it because my Welsh Hunter sign's in the way. And that will be challenge one out of six complete. We are on a roll. Two and a half hours, three hours left. Yay. <coughs> And there it is then. So that is the first challenge complete. That one was, you know, easy enough in terms of grabbing the key and getting there. Of course, the rest is a little bit more complicated later on, but we will get there when we get there. So we've done everything in Sanctuary as well. Now we can just head to the next level, which is the Great Forest. There's a blind man with his dogs. How has that guy got here and none of the enemies have attacked him? Of course, it's video game logic, isn't it? Everything only attacks you for some reason, not everything else. Stupid! But I guess it wouldn't make it that fun if nobody attacked us, huh? So this is where we're going to be grabbing the next relic as well. We're going to be doing a little puzzle through Skull Skull Mongo right there. Right, so when you're ready, head through and then go bottom left. And now go bottom right, so back the way you came. Go bottom right again. And next head top right. Lastly, head to bottom left and that is where we get the next relic. Now, what you see me doing is going back to the beginning to do the puzzle again, but as soon as we're out here, just jump up and go uh, top left, and that is how you will end the level. Uh, for whatever reason, I decided not to do that. Headed all the way right, um, but again, this is just to show you anyway, um, if you wanted to go from again for some reason. So again, you go uh, bottom left, then bottom right, then bottom right again, and then you go top right, and then top left. That is how you end the level this time. And there we go. So stick your pins in, uh, <laughs> stick your D-pad in the statue when you get there. And then, uh, yep, yeah, that ends this level. So now we can head up and go to Minstrel Peak. I know it's not Minstrel Peak, but that sounds better in my eyes. And now we're going to head to the Tempest base. Uh, so we'll be coming back here a little bit later on anyway. Uh, but what we need to do is get our friend Loretta, who seems to be trapped in the base by absolutely nothing. 
Nothing's stopping her from leaving, but she decides to stay anyway. We'll go up there a little bit later on, as soon as we get the wall climb ability, so chill your ass. Uh, old guy there. Oh, I know what they've been doing on the mountain. Oh, is Loretta an old girl? I don't know. Grey hair kind of looks old. Anyway, you need to head through this weird looking portal. Now, this is the start of what is called the Scourge. Or Scourge. Or Scourge. Or Scourge. I don't know. However the hell you want to say it, wherever the hell you're from. I'm going to keep calling it the Scourge. Because Cardi B is annoying. Everyone dislikes Cardi B except for those that like her. And, you know, might as well get a bit annoying after a while, isn't it? So this is what Scourge levels look like. Um, darker, darker versions of levels that we've already done. And the enemies are a little bit more difficult-ish. Um, and then as soon as you get this big Scourge ball of lightning, or ball of darkness, that is how that ends the level. So that happens quite a few times in the game. Again, we'll wait. We can come back to that a bit later on. But for now, press the Y button. We can head back to the Sanctia. Um, level, and we are heading back to Sanctia. And if we head to the right, we have now just saved Loretta from an almighty doom. Uh, but basically, this is where the skill tree is. Um, so, again, like I said, we're going to need a lot of gems. We're going to need a lot of gems later on. Uh, but if you just purchase the first and only skill that was available there, the uh, Crimson Charge, that will get us our achievement for acquiring our first skill but of course that will also come in handy as well uh, for a little bit later on um, otherwise you can pick whatever the hell you want for now um, what we are going to go for though is uh, achievement related specific ones and that is the terms of getting the plummet finishers and the air finishers they are we can't get them yet though so don't even panic your gorgeous little bows about it did I just say gorgeous little balls? Okay, I've lost my head now. Anyway, we don't need anything. If you can't afford anything, buy what you want, because we need to buy them all anyway. But if you can't afford it all, don't panic anyway. We'll be coming back to this. I'm sure I've said that about 18 times. Sorry. I'm even doing my own friggin' head in now. But once we're done with that, you can just head out of the right and go back into the map. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's not COVID, honestly. Now we can go back to Minstrel Peak. And we can finally start the snowy mountain areas called the Frigid Mines. <laughs> you know what Frigid used to mean back in the day over here? Frigid used to mean that you never kissed nobody and you were a virgin about everything and nobody loved you. It's kind of harsh, actually. Uh, so we've got the weird mushroom guy who decides to sniff us and then sneeze on us for some reason. Bro, don't you know COVID's about right now? Ah, Jesus Christ, I can have you arrested! Asshole! Anyway, what he actually does do, um, the COVID sniffing sneezer little pervert, uh, if you press and hold the left trigger, it can now turn um, <laughs> melted ice into proper ice blocks. Um, so yeah, these come, again, especially in handy. We'll also get one for fire and lightning later on as well. Uh, but this comes in handy there if you want to, you know, progress in the game, strangely enough. But you've got to hold it down just enough so that it's uh, basically, you're all powered up and ready to go. Uh, otherwise, you can just attack the blocks if you are needing. It's job done. It's job done, baby.
And as soon as we enter this room, hope you've been enjoying the game so far. Don't smash any ice blocks. Do not do it. Especially this bit. We need to climb up, head to the right. Oh, and try not to miss as well. That'll always help. And just grab this relic here as well. Now you can smash to your heart's delight. And you can smash with a recorder on as well if you want. You can smash and put it on OnlyFans as well. We're still on about the same smashing, right? Smashing ice blocks. Yeah, you can put that on OnlyFans. People will buy anything these days. Desperate people. <laughs> Man, I'm goddamn cold just watching this dude smash through everything in the snow. Anyway, head down, smash all the blocks going down. This is where we find the end of the level. 
Yeah, Christ, genuinely shivering. Um, watching him go through, uh, watching Flynn play through the snow. Unless I've just got an actual genuine problem and uh, I can't stop shivering for some reason. Maybe I'm on the... <laughs> nah, I'm just fan. Anyway, head to the Frosty Caverns. We're going to do another sort of mini boss fight type thing. So go kick ass! So now you're going to see these ice blocks with cracks in them, for some reason, you can't hit them, you only have to use a big giant ice rock to throw at them, which of course makes sense, so you can hit, <laughs> so you can hit uh, fully infused ice cubes, which have no cracks in them, but the ones with cracks in them, you got to pick up the giant ice boulder and uh, throw it at them, so, yeah, top logic bros, top logic, that's how it goes, yo's. Now what we're coming up to is our first boulder chase. Now this can kill you regardless anyway, so as soon as you jump down here, immediately start rolling and sprinting to the right. Just smash all the ice cubes out of the way as quick as you can, so you don't get smushed into a large smushy smush smush boulder smush. Ah! Like I just did. Or I almost did. You see kids, and that's the stupidest way to do it. Almost getting crushed. Well, I tell you what, Articuno's had a bit of a downgrade. Looks more like a Zapdos, to be honest, who just got frozen over time. <laughs>
So, coming up to another relic time. You see this ladder? Don't climb it. Do not climb it. We're just going to keep on heading to the left for now. Basically, if you climb that ladder, you can't get this relic. Uh, it's, it's out of the way then. We're going to have a little couple of fights here with big angry knight swordsmen. By the way, which boss is putting their employees here? Who's, who's going right? We're going to take over the world, but you lot, you two specifically stay in one night, uh, side of the ice caverns. Uh, you couple have a sort of sit around there. Ugh. Anyway, I don't know. He's a bad boss. Better be getting paid well for this. So what we need to do then, uh, grab one ice boulder, and then we're going to need to smash the other one as well. Uh, otherwise, we're not going to be able to fit. So use your incredibly, uh, incredible red-headed steroid infused strength. And then just jump all the way over to the other side. Uh, take a little step back, I would, and then throw it. Otherwise, it falls down, like so. But if that happens, that's also fine as well. Don't panic your nuts off about it. We can just go ahead and pick up another one. Now, the reason we're doing this, uh, so many ball throwing, is because there is a secret passage. If we can jump up on the ice blocks here, throw it at the left-hand side wall, and we come up to this new area. Uh, you're going to need to be doing a lot of uh, pressing A and pressing B in terms of jumping and doing a cheeky roll. Uh, sometimes you might die. I died like three times. There was once. I'm not going to show you all deaths because, uh, well, that makes me look like a stupid asshole. And I've, as we know, I uh, pretty much am. But still, keeps blasting through the snow. We almost made it. And for some reason, there's just one guy, one, like, priest. Hey. There's a child around here somewhere, isn't it? There's a child behind that bush. Don't you panic about that. Anyway, as soon as you speak to the um, priest, he gives us the next relic, which is a feather. Then we can just head all the way back to the right and move on. Uh, by the way, call the police because we did see that little boy in the, um, in the bush right there. So, right, we're going through another boulder, uh, boulder session there. So just keep smashing and keep running as quick as you can. If you can avoid smashing, do it. Just keep running as quick as you can. Right, so we're going to Bleak Storm Ridge now, but we can't actually do the full level just yet. Basically, Rosie is here, and what she basically does is to tell us... Uh, she gives us this incredible-looking gem, um, but she's not letting us through. She doesn't want to fight us until we learn to control our anger. Um, uh, right, okay, so even though she got angry and tried killing us first, apparently it's us with the problem. Okay, sweet pea. That's very controlling of you. I don't want this relationship no more. I don't want a divorce. So we're going to head back to the Great Forest anyway. Only this time we're not going to the left. We're going to the right. Past the man, past the blind man with the dog. So is he okay? Has he had like a stroke and he just can't actually move? Anyway, not, not quite sure about that. Um, so what we are going to be coming up to actually is the Crash Smash Bash achievement and that is for smashing a rock in an enemy's head a consecutive amount of four times in just a moment. Uh, but again, this isn't a short level either, this is quite a long one again, so strap in and feel the G's. By the way, those trolls don't remind me of my ex actually. Anybody remember Jersey Shore? Snooky one, schmoo schmoo. That bit's off South Park, but you know, that little weird orange girl. Is the name Snooky or saying Snooky? I don't know. Anyway, that's who th that's who these trolls remind me of. Yeah, yeah. Snooky one, smoosh, smoosh.
By the way, you see it where the uh, long spiky branches get hard against the wall? That's exactly what I'm like when I see Rihanna's mother. Mm-mm-mm. Rihanna's mother. So now we're going to be coming and grabbing the Smash Crash Bash achievement. So grab the rock from the top of this uh, shelf right here. And we're going to use it on the big tree wielding guy. So press down to the D-pad when you buy him. And that will that should give enough uh, consecutive bounces on the top of his noggin to get us that achievement. Like I said, there are plenty of opportunities you can get in the game with enemies such as that. Um, but, you know, always best to uh, whip it out the way if we can, of course. So that's now we're in, and we've got two and a half hours left. Oh, boy! And for some reason, he doesn't try to attack us first, he just chops up wood. That's pre pretty manly of you. It's pretty hardcore. <laughs> So with that one done, now this is just a shorter one, the Crimson Sanctuary. Just after we uh, look at Rihanna's mother and... Ooh, baby! No, I'm joking, I'm not a mother fan, although there are some, like, you know, 50, 60-year-olds that are absolutely smoking. Anyway, let's not, let's not like, get into uh, 
who finds what old people attractive, uh, you know, into whom. Interact with this big statue, and basically what that's going to do is give us a new power. This is called the Anger Power, or Crimson Control. We're going to call it the Anger Meter, the Anger Power. And if you collect these little symbols, these little bits of symbols, crystals, that fills up at the bar at the top of the screen. Press the left trigger and right trigger together, and then just keep pressing the X button. Um, I'm doing it completely wrong, but I'll show you how to do it the right way in just a bit. But what that'll do, uh, if you... Yeah, so press left trigger and right trigger, keep spamming the X button, and then that'll just give off this big kind of like Scyther from Pokemon Infused Fury Swipes. Uh, yeah, so that is how you use that one. Comes in mega handy, again, especially if you're playing the game legit, that'll come in handy against some of the tougher enemies and tougher bosses. Um... Because you can really whack an enemy's health down. Otherwise, you can just go back to Rosia, and of course, we're going to be fighting her again. So, screw you, Rosia! Heroin addict! And now we can play this level properly. So again, it's just a case of heading to the right, destroying a couple of enemies, etc. But you see, this is a mad adventure. Like, my kind of adventure is like, shall I go get a KFC today? Shall I buy a scratch card? Shall I wear any underwear today? You know, that's about as adventurous as my life gets. Then you get all these little wieners in video games, like, I'll go on a small adventure. Takes down an entire bad guy base. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Right, so now we're going to be coming up to challenge 1.2. Remember the, remember the fisherman we spoke to in the Hollow Isles? This is the guy he is referring to, who we're supposed to come down and have a little fish with him. But he's being trampled and, you know, <laughs> Rickathon. That's a hell of a name, by the way. Uh, so just go ahead, kill the rest of the wolves, and then for some reason, even though there's a load of enemies and all the ridges and bridges and everything, he manages to find his way down no problem. So kill the three wolves, speak to Rickathon, and he can head down. So that one is challenge 1.2 done. So for the third one, we've now just got to head back to the Hollow Isles in just a little bit, grab the key, and then we can finally do that challenge over. Uh, otherwise, like I said, for now, once again, we're just heading up and to the right and to the right and to the up. But actually, what we are doing is coming up to another quite tricky um, relic. So what you have to do is, it's basically up on top of this left-hand side. Now, you can come back here when you get the wall climb ability and climb up the left side of the wall if you want to do that. It makes it easier. But you can actually grab it now. So if you just head up. And now what you need to do, I missed the first time here, but you need to jump as high as you can. And then as soon as you hit that top perfect height, then press the B button to roll. And you should just about be able to grab onto the ledge. Uh, so, I mean, that did take me a good, good couple of attempts to get that one right. Uh, so if you can't do it or you've ha pissed off with it, as we just head to the left, grab the relic here in this new secret area. Uh, but yeah, if you do get too pissed off with it, you can always just come back. Literally at the end of the game, when we get the wall climb ability, that will make your life a lot easier. But I was just showing you that it can be done. So get rid of the uh, cheaper fr um, <laughs> Articuno from Wish. And now we can just keep heading to the right. But that is the relic done for this level anyway. Rabies wolves! Oh, and we've got little smoosh smoosh uh, snooky on uh, the rabi infused wolves as well. So, just to make the legitimate players' lives a little bit more difficult. <laughs> 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 Ah! <laughs> 
a big block of ice here, so don't do what I do. Actually, um, you know, try to shoot it with some magic first. And don't fall down again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, let's try this again. Right, there we go, there we go. And another quick, slightly slight word of warning. Uh, don't spend too long in the water. If you do that, you will freeze and you will die. Luckily, again, the checkpoint isn't too bad. But that is just to warn you that you can actually freeze to death. So, man, literally everything's just out to get us. Well, what have we done? Except live our lives. Right then, so coming up to Claycrest Springs, this is a short one, but it's a couple of things that we're going to, going to do. Now, the first one, we are coming up to a new challenge. What we have to do is speak to this little troll coming up called uh, Thomin Jr. or Thomlin. Here he is, tiny little midget man, Thomin Jr. Right, so we've spoken to him. You actually have to speak to him, but if we keep heading all the way to the right, don't interrupt with the statue yet, because we're going to speak to Bax as well. So this is the second out of four times that we see this monstrous little tragedy, and make sure to speak to him. I speak to him two or three times just to, you know, be doubly, doubly, doubly sure that we've spoken to him. And now we've got one of these AIDS Burger Scourge. Scourge! Uh, level so this is what they'll do a lot. They'll just appear in certain levels Which means we can't actually access any other levels until this one's done And um, we've got this big giant uh, AIDS infused axe following us Um, Yeah Yeah, they, they stink <laughs> Really I mean to be honest these things they're not so scary. They're about as scary as genital warts But at least you can get rid of genital warts. You know what I mean? I mean, these scourge things hang around more like diarrhea. You know, disappears for a bit, but you know, one wrong meal, wrong one, one wrong turn, and it's coming straight back with, for you with a vengeance. <laughs> but yeah, these levels, <laughs> um, like I said earlier, it's generally just a case of replaying the same level um, until we get to that ball of darkness that we can destroy. It's not too bad, it's just a bit of a pain in the ass when you just want to move forward with the game, you know? <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
so then, with that scourge taken care of, how, how many people's heads am I doing in right now with scourge? <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do is head back and we're going to go to the Hollow Isles now. So go down from Sanctia, and there it is then. So just in the middle of the water, that's where the Hollow Isles is. So now we can finish up this challenge, which was technically the first challenge after we spoke to the fisherman. There's Rickathon. Look, he made his way back. So we got past a bunch of trolls and big metal knights and everything, but a couple of worlds is too much for him. So anyway, we spoke to Junga. He's given us the key. The door is to the right of him. Again, interact with the statue. And then we can go into the new um, challenge area. Just like last time then, it's a case of clearing all the enemies. That's all it is. You've got your invincibility on, so enjoy for the next couple of minutes. Right, so once we're done with Hollow's Isle, what we need to do now is go and speak to Thomen Senior. Remember we just spoke to him at the Clear Crest Springs? Uh, so what we need to do is go ahead and head all the way to the right to the Woodshade Settlement right here. We'll be coming back here to do this as a proper level later on, but for now, we're just going to speak to Thomen Senior. He's going to give us the Clear, the Clear Crest Springs Key. And like I said, I, I'm pretty sure you can just quit out uh, return to the map and you'll still have the key uh, But for whatever reason I was a bit too paranoid um, So what you can do is just head to the right head back to the left and that is what will open up the map again So we're actually going to be heading and doing the next challenge now So back up to the old minstrel peak and back to clear crest springs Because that if you remember the door was by Thalmin jr. Why is his son all the way up here? It does look nice mine doesn't it? Oh look at that Look at that, but I bet you're freaking freezing your balls off when you get out. Big hot springs. Lovely. Get out. Very cold snow. Disgusting. Anyway, when we head through the door, this isn't the challenge. Oh, this is like an elevator. One of those bloody annoying, you know, Devil May Cry type uh, elevator going up challenges where you've got to uh, just kill all the enemies. Uh, but as soon as we're up there, the statue's at the top, and then we can do the challenge.
go then. So that's already challenged three out of six done. Now, like I said, uh, we've only got what well, we've got the boss now to fight. But basically, I'm doing the challenges in this order as we're going through the game. So you don't have to play the whole game and then piss around with doing the grabbing the keys and everything later on. Uh, so that's why I'm just doing it in this order. So now we are coming up to our first big, big boss battle of the game. Um... This one's not too bad, he just uh, tries to hit us, tries to chuck a bit of ice at us. Again, if you're playing legit, it's always just a case of... Um, have a look where he's about to head down. And just have a look at the pattern. Fairly, fairly obvious though, but again, if you're just playing this legit... <laughs> wait until he appears and then smash his fat old noggin in, boys. Bora, 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 awful rough beast. He is dead beneath the east ice. Oh, damn it. Well, that sucked, right? But there we go. So we've got the uh, defeat of Bora, the whirlwind assassin, and that is this one done. A uh, little bit more. We've no we're now going to basically get a new weapon, the big old axe. So the finally, the wooden sword is no more. We've now got a burning flaming axe, which is... It's just badass as you can get, so you've got to press the right bumper if you want to switch the weapon. By the way, it's left bumper if you want to switch your little magic power there from ice to fire to lightning a little bit later on. But again, we'll come up to that in just a touch. I am going to kill that heroin addict, Rosia. She hurt my fluffy wuffy, damn it. Anyway, speak to Lord Emmett. Uh, don't worry about that. The, the big Snorlax downgrade guy is, of course, just the um, uh, guy with the trinkets. Uh, so we can head underground, go to the right. And this time, because we've got the axe now, we can speak to Dusk. Hey, bro, where's Dawn? <laughs> Crappy dad joke. And there's plenty of them still to come. Anyway, with that, we can now head underground and we can go to the hollow where we're going to be doing some underwater levels. Uh, but just before we do that, we're actually going to be grabbing another achievement. Um, apologies, I probably could have got this achievement first and then done that. Uh, but what we're doing, we're going to speak to Loretta. Loretta. And then we're going to be grabbing everything to do with the plummet achievement. So grab the uh, plummet attack. And then what we'll do, it can get kind of confusing, so, uh, but grab the plummet attack. Again, if you've got enough, if you don't, do not worry yourself. You can just come back to this one a little bit later on. So grab the plummet attack, and then what you need to do is grab plummet follow-up, and also a plummet finisher. So these are the three you need specifically for the achievement. There's one for doing one in the air as well. But what you need to do, um, jump up, hold the down button on the left stick, and then press X three times. So that's jump, hold down, and then press X three times. What it's going to do then is, like I said, he's going to chuck his axe down, and then he's going to do two follow-up moves with the plummet as well, where you see a bunch of axes coming down. It may take a little bit of time to get used to, uh, but when you, once you know how to do it, it is as simple as whizzing into a toilet. Unless you're a man, then actually it's kind of tricky. So there we go. That is exactly what should happen then. So down to the D-pad, jump, press X three times, and there we go. Now what we're also going to be doing is getting the... Um, basically, we're just going to destroy this training dummy. But this takes 
quite literally about two minutes. No matter what you do, this takes literally about two minutes. So just keep slapping the training dummy, keep smashing him up, and then eventually uh, the training dummy should be no more, and we finally get the achievement. What a way to keep your thumbs in check. There it is, look. Finally, I was about to give up. But that, by the way, that will take you two minutes. Obviously, I edited it down ever so slightly for a little bit of time. Oh, but my God, my poor thumbs. And if you need a thumb massage, um, there's bound to be a thumb massager in your family somewhere, right? Somebody's bound to do you a solid. So anyway, now that we've got those two achievements out of the way, now we can actually head back down, go to the right, and we can go to the underwater levels. And the first level is going to be Sea Barrow. So again, this isn't uh, too bad a one, um, too bad of a bunch of levels, it's, you know, to swim down, obviously you've swum down before, so you just move the D-pad to move, just like you were walking on land, uh, but basically the, the main issues, or the main things that we've got to do in this game, or in these particular levels, is rise a bit of seawater, and you do that by smashing these buttons. Of course, just be careful, you do have a timer, you will die regardless. Um, so always just try and get some air and some air bubbles in your life. Very Sonic. Very Sonic the Hedgehog, that. Or actually very real life if you want to do as well. <laughs> Oh, here we go. This is very Sonic. We're looking more like Knuckles in Sonic the Hedgehog 3 right now, <laughs> rather than Flynn in Flynn, Son of Crimson. So, of course, like I said, there will be a bunch of... Uh, <laughs> this is very inspirational from Sonic. There we go. A bunch of air bubbles will be about. Make sure to grab them on your way so you don't, you know, drown and get eaten by Magikarp. Angry Magikarp.
I can really hear the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog underwater levels uh, music. Every time we, we hit button or we go underwater, I can hear that music. It's so awesome. Um, but what we need to do then is basically... Oh, for some reason I'm getting that completely wrong. Uh, just keep heading up to the left. We are coming up to a missable relic, um, actually. As soon as we hit these um, real cockeyed legendary lobsters. So, I, you know, I kill these enemies as well, just because it's a lot easier, especially when you've got stuff to do. But as soon as we hit this button, the water is going to rise. Now, we need to hit another two buttons to get a door underneath to open, in terms of the relic. So, the first one is going to be in the top left. So, you can keep um, hitting the B button to go up, or to spam forward a little bit. But hit this button here, which is on the top left. Uh, you know, uh, grab, grab yourself a nice couple of gems as well while you're there. Ready for the misses. Anyway, head left and down. And then again, if you just uh, keep going straight, keep hitting the B button to go a little bit faster. And then head up right here, up to the top right. And this is where the next button is going to be. This was unreachable, of course, before. And directly below us, the doors will open to get this delicious little necklace. Who the hell is leaving all these relics about? If I was the main bad guy in this game, I would be freaking tapping. Leave it on my valuables about. Anyway, head straight down, grab the necklace, and then we can just move on now with the story. Um, I would go to the right and get some air, because me being very stupid almost died incredibly. Look how close it was. Ah! Like, that was ridiculously close. Don't be, don't be a hero. Don't be a jackass. Don't be Johnny Knoxville, unless you really can get rich off it. Otherwise, that one is that. Head through the middle here, through the cave, job done. So, welcome to the Netting Capital. This is one of those short levels, which is fine, but basically, we've got to come back here a little bit later on after we um, defeat the boss of this area. We need to speak to Remy. Remy the God. Um, now, later on, after we do these levels, Remy here will give us a key um, for another challenge, which we find in the next level, the Crystal Grotto. But for now, we're just speaking to... Um, Everyone here, so just keep climbing up, go to the left, keep climbing up, and then speak to Remy again, and he will open the door on the right for us to nip on by. But of course, as we really want to move on, we can't because Cardi B's Scrooge 
has decided to um, entertain us, so you press Y to go scanty there, and we can head into the Wilder Falls. Again, it's the same as... It's the same um, mission as earlier then, so just keep climbing up, keep following the same path. It's all generally quite linear, so don't panic your nuts off about it. Just get to the end so you can get rid of Cardi B. Or the Scourge, of course. <laughs> Not Cardi B. Cardi B is a national treasure. <laughs> So finally then we can move on. They honestly do get quite annoying after about already. So now we can head back to the hollow. Now we can go into Crystal Grotto. Expect a sort of mini boss fight first with these sword icons right there. As soon as you kill uh, this angry looking mofo then we can nip on. So we're going to get our little mushroom-headed COVID bro giving us a little sniff. Oh, delicious. Let me sneeze on you. Give you all the COVID. Give you all the death. Thank you very much. Uh, but what he does is actually give us the lightning power now. So again, so there you go. You press the left button to change the magic and then, as usual, hold the left trigger to charge the magic. Um, this will kill a couple of enemies. What it will do as well is get... Us Another achievement called Chain Reaction, where we've got to chain zap seven enemies with lightning. And we can do that in this area with a bunch of bees. But there are, again, plenty of opportunities to get there, especially in Challenge 1. But we might as well get it out of the way as soon as we can, right?
So then, coming up is where we're going to get the chain reaction achievement. Don't try and kill any of the bees yet. Um, instead, keep going to the right ever so slightly. More bees are going to appear. So press and hold the left trigger, charge it up, hit it at some bees, and then go to the left so everyone can get some bees and everyone can get some lightning. Hopefully there, you would have gotten at least seven enemies. Um, there were plenty. I th I'm sure there was at least eight or nine there we could have done. Um, so hopefully we would have got that one. If not, again, don't panic. There are plenty of opportunities um, in or, uh, where we can get that one. So no panicking. But we're coming up to another relic now as well. So I'm not being that careful um, <laughs> at this point, if I'm honest. Um, and for some reason, I can't jump. Why can you not jump? Uh, but yeah, so we are coming up. As soon as you head here, don't go to the right. Continue going to the left. Um, kill these trolls, couple of other bees, but above these wires with the lightning bolts coming out of them, there's going to be a button. We can hit that, and the door will open up on the bottom left-hand corner. <clears throat> can seem um, like it's hard to uh, hard to find, but it's not too bad. So head back to the left and just stick with the bottom. Looks like Peppa Pig had a bit of a meltdown after her TV show got cancelled. Come here, where's George? I want to eat him. Uh, <laughs> there was a pig. Uh, you can kill him if you want. Head through the doors. Head down. Um, I just grab some more gems because why in the hell not? There is a uh, Snooky right here which you can kill. But then grab the relic. Everyone's happy. Now we can just keep on moving on to the right. Yeah. Yeah.
And so with that one done then, now we can go to the Palace of Aqua Ass. That is uh, Aquaman 3, the Aqua Ass. Oh, did I watch the uh, wrong film the other day? Oh, I might have just watched the wrong film. Anyway, this is one of those, again, quite linear paths. Basically, this fish follows us and gives us some bubbles. Not sure exactly how it all works out or how he does it, but every time I went to attack him or somebody attacked us, that is when he would release a bubble. So always just keep checking and always make sure to be bubbling up so you don't die and don't hear the dun 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 you know sonic music drowning sonic music yeah you you get it anyway Now then, if this doesn't scream a uh, big bad boss area, I don't know what does. Uh, but we will be fighting a specific someone in just a minute, but what we're actually going to be doing is coming up to one of the missable relics, not quite here. Um, I end up again just going to the right, and this is why I do go off the path ever so slightly. You'll normally find the healing orbs, if you again, if you're playing this legit, or if you are uh, wanting to just get more gems so you don't have to do as much grinding later on. But the majority, the sort of puzzle for this bit is then you can actually turn this one into ice, these boxes into ice, and then just push it, and it goes uh, goes fl uh, flying by a bit quicker. You can't get past the waterfalls, so you just need to push the boxes on the waterfalls. Oh. <laughs> but this is the point of the relic, so ignore that box for now and just head up. There we go. You can already see this box. We're gonna freeze this boy. Again, holding the left trigger until you're all good. Push it over to the side, and you just need to do it again. So push it again to the right. That'll break. We can head up the ladder, and the relic is going to be on the right. So that one is that one. Uh, what the hell is that supposed to be? I don't know. Anyway, otherwise we can just move on. This is a shorter level, and we will be coming up very soon to someone. Oh, huh. 
Now, I'll tell you what, this game definitely is not easy. Not easy at all. Easy because we are steroid infused and invincible as hell. But that last bit with the electric eels, that would have been tricky to do legit. So, you know, you've got to give a big shout out to the developers where they let you play in a way that you want to as well. Uh, if you want to do it hard, the hard way, the legit way, then fair play. But if you want an easier time doing it, it's good they give us both the options. Anyway, we're going to smash Rosia to little bits now. Bend over, Rosia. We're going to smash you. Like, you know, in that head and stuff. Not like that. Rosia, such a cute girl, such a cute name for a cute girl, Flynn thought. But, again, alas, since Rosia, uh, she is basically addicted to heroin! Heroin, damn it! Oh, there's King Neptune. Jesus Christ, that is uh, Snorlax's definite understudy right there. Anyway, one thing left to do here, and that is to kick the aquatic Vault Knight's big, chunky, fat ass. So that is exactly what we're going to do. So, after beating Kravios, Kravios, Pregnant Kravios, we get what is my f personal favourite weapon in the game, and that is the Claws. Now, they may not look like they do much, but it kind of gives us this quick one-second Sonic Dash move. And when we use the Plummet move on it, it gives us like the Tasmanian Devil spin around as well. So, it's pretty badass and hardcore, bro, for a ginger guy like us. Anyway, speak to Emmett, have a little speak with Dex now. He's all good, my fluffy wuffy. Oh, he's almost all good. Still looks quite sad. Ah, look at the big man, the big guy. So, Spire of Crimson is where we need to head, but we can't head up there just yet. We do have one area that we need to do. First of all, we are going to head over to Loretta, just to see if there's a, there are any new skills that we can um, choose. Uh, if you haven't got enough gems or anything, of course, don't worry. If you do, then spend them to your heart's bloody content, brother. Otherwise, if not, and we're all good, we can just head out of this area now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now we can actually head to the... Uh, well, sorry, what we're going to do is head um, to the Neptune capital. We're going to be getting the next... Challenge, challenge number four out of the way. <clears throat> so this King Neptune, he's all good. He is, well, maybe he could do with go for a run or something. But speak to Remy, he is going to give us this key. And we can just head to the right. And now, like I said, we can head to the Crystal Grotto. And just like earlier, we just need to play the level ever so slightly until we get to the door. I'll let you know what that is. Try not to electrocute your pubes.
So after fighting those trolls, head down and the key is directly underneath. So rather than going to the right, there you go, just head down, go through the door, and again it's just a case of finish the level. And then we'll enter the new challenge mode. Again, if you did manage to electrocute your pubes, then at least you are ready and fired up for this challenge. Go get them, Sonic Knuckles kind of thing. We do resemble more Knuckles than Sonic now, to be fair. And giggity 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 giggity, that's all, folks. That is challenge four done. Anyway, we can head back out, go to Sanctia, and we head all the way to the Woodshade Settlement, which of course we couldn't do much apart from get a key from Big Tholmin's nose right there. Now what we can do is actually head all the way to the right this time, and we can complete this short level. Now, because our dex is better, we can press up on the D-pad and then up again to mount him. And he goes through the... Well, you can do a dex dash. I assume you're not supposed to actually still go through the spikes because they can still hurt if you are playing legit, of course. Um, otherwise, you can attack everything and just dex dash your way all the way through until we get to the other side. Almost sounds like a real bad why did the chicken cross the road joke, doesn't it? <laughs> Ugh. So we've got another scratch level to do. We just want to crack on, man. We just want to friggin' do this shit. Anyway, back to the Great Forest then. And, well, you know what to do. Just keep following the path exactly as I do. So top right. This one is shorter. Bottom right. And then go top left. Avoid the enemies at the bottom. So go top left again. Top right. And that is where the Scourge Ball is. So, this time, luckily, it was kind of a shorter level. But, oh, I don't know, it just... It pisses you off. You just want to move on. You don't want to be having to deal with the AIDS burgers and the, the genital warts of the... Um, of this bloody area. Anyway, go into Shadow Haven Trail. We've got another little mini boss fight. Uh, you know what to do. You've done this before. And if you haven't, then Christ, what the hell have you been doing for two hours? Playing blind? <laughs> But this one is definitely a, a nice shorter level, this one, so uh, we're playing mainly as Dex. Um, just be careful, try to avoid falling. If you do, you end up um, going off Dex. And um, you uh, have to find another one of these sort of dog statue things to get him back. But uh, that's a sort of just-in-case thing. <laughs> Yeah. 
So we're coming up to a missable relic. Don't keep dashing all the way to the right hand side. This bit's fine. Jump down. And as soon as we head up this bit here, stay right here. Uh, go down onto this little sort of shelf, whatever the hell that is, this little ledge. And this LGBT plus um, bean appears. And that is a relic, which is pretty cool. Anyway, when you've got that, now you can actually head all the way to the right. Avoid the enemies, kill the enemies, do what you've got to do. But we can actually finish the level. And now we can head to the next level, the Noxious Everglade. For whatever reason, this was one of my most favourite levels. I don't know if it's because I'm a big fan of big magic mushrooms and acid rain and big ooze monsters, but, um, yeah, really enjoyed this level for, for whatever reason. A couple of, um, smooshy, a snooky one, smoosh, smoosh, Tasmanian Devil spins there. Um, but again, again, playing this legitimate... Obviously, don't stay out for too long in the acid rain. That shit gonna hurt. And once more, we're going to be coming up to yet another missable relic as soon as we head over to the right, get past these uh, Michael Jackson Thriller zombie walkers. And this is Thriller! There's the next relic, oh yeah! And this one is a pretty easy one. So, destroy the ooze monster. And there's going to be a box on the top right-hand corner. All we need to do is push that box all the way to the left-hand side in where the holy gap was. Life is good and you are relicked up. Where you're keeping these relics, I don't particularly want to know, but I bet a priest knows. He's got a good experience with hiding things in little boys. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was just joking. All priests are not like that, right? Right? Yeah. 
Now here I try getting the Bubba Boing achievement, and that is for using the sword and pogo bouncing on four separate enemies. Now what you're supposed to do is get the sword out, jump, press down, and then the X button once. And then what you're supposed to do, as you can see, is just sort of bounce on four separate enemies. Um, I don't actually end up getting it here, uh, so don't worry if you don't. I get it at the very, very end of this level, because there are a lot more of these ooze monsters um, to go. Um... Again, it's obviously always worth doing it now, getting it out of the way so you don't have to come back all the way through here just to get this achievement again. But that is what you do, and like I said, we, we'll come to it at the very end, but you press down on the um, left stick, uh, press the X button once, and then you start bouncing on the enemy's heads. Uh, so, have a little practice there, it's probably always worth a good practice on those ooze enemies so we can get it a little bit later on. Uh, but we are not too far from the end now anyway. And in fact, here we are then. So, again, make sure that you got your sword out, because this is the very end of the level. So get the sword out. Much, a lot of, a lot of enemies here. Jump, press down on the left stick, and then press the X button once. Again, it might just take a little bit of time, but if you can, there should be... Try and get four enemies sort of grouped up together. Um, it may take a while for them to get grouped together, but there we go then. So, just... Happy days. So hopefully you should get in that area. If not, like I said, that that <laughs> big gloopy guy just um, produced a lot more by spewing him up. So I personally would make sure to get that achievement first so you don't have to replay this level all the way to get to the very end. So uh, again, hopefully you would have got that one. And then we can head on to the Typhia Marsh. Now, there is a relic, and there is a key we can get, but we can't get it until a little bit later on, until we have the wall climb ability. So, if we head left, this is where we're supposed to be able to wall climb to get the key, to get the relic. But since we can't, this is just an another one of those linear paths where we just keep smashing through to the right, get to the end. And again, for those legit players out there, um, you're going to see these big, branchy, spiky boys that are going to appear. Like right there, and they're going to spike out like that. So as soon as you see one going, just, uh, you know, try to avoid it. Jump up somewhere. Do something. Jump! Like now, that would have... <laughs> well, that would have spiked me square in the pubes, and I would have cried like a little girl. So we're going to have COVID bro come and give us a little sniff. Do we smell good or what? Um, but he's also going to give us the fire uh, magic power again, so... For a lot of the time, to get through doors, specifically in this area, we need to uh, fire up some of these lanterns. A lot of these lanterns. All easily done, though. And again, the path, even with having to find these, it's all very small, all quite linear. So you're not, you shouldn't get too lost as long as you're following along with. Not a problem. Yeah. Huh.
Okay, now let me through, please. Ah, oh, god damn it, son of a bitch, you screw you. So we got fiery axes, and they can't uh, hit a couple of barren spikes. Okay. <laughs> Oh, would you look at that? I didn't know Sonic the Hedgehog had appeared. Uh, but apparently, again, he got a little upgrade now. Instead of doing Sonic dashes, he's uh, turned into a troll. That's a pretty big downgrade. Yeah. 
God, I wish Cardi B would just piss off and leave us alone now. So again, uh, press you can press the Y button to go straight straight to the scratch, and it is here at the Crystal Grotto. Uh, like why? Why not just try and attack us directly or in the next area? You know. Ugh. Anyway, kill the Cardi B, and uh, I don't know why she's turned into Cardi B for it, to be honest, but uh, <laughs> it is. So we can move on, shall we? Oh, goddamn, finally. So that is that bit of scourge done. I wish the scourges would go away. I've had blood in my poop. That is scarier than that. Which was a very scary time, actually. Nobody needs blood in your poop. Right, so on to Cedar Stone Cove. Uh, between Typhia Marsh and Cedar Stone Cove, these are the uh, bits of challenges we can get through a little bit later on. But of course, for now, uh, kill these bunch of enemies uh, before once again moving on. It's going to be another slightly long level. With going to the right, and going up, hitting some buttons, killing some enemies if you so wish. You know, the normal spiel. So it's missing relic time. As soon as we uh, get the door open, we can now get our beloved fluffy wuffy decks. And instead of going straight, we're going to head all the way to the left, ignoring the spikes, dashing through. And here's the statue of a man with what looks like a candle or could potentially be a rolling pin for all the chefs who think everything is a rolling pin out there. For some reason, I don't know why you think that, but that's what we think. So just keep dashing all the way to the right. I love a good... I'll have a good ride, especially when we're riding our dog. Uh, uh. But w wait, wait a minute.
So we're going to need to grab this barrel, what we need to do is actually, hopefully it doesn't uh, blow up on us, but we need to chuck it there, but we don't need to go there for now, what we need to do is keep heading up, and we need to head up the ladder, now for, for whatever reason I kept pressing the A button when I was getting to the ladder, so as you can see I kept falling and then it was starting to piss me off. So of course, remember what you need to do to climb a ladder is jump and then just press up on the uh, on your left stick. 
that is how you actually climb up ladders, but for some reason, I kept forgetting. But just jump up to the left-hand side anyway. <clears throat> Excuse enemy. Uh, destroy these, and then what we need to do is another race. So hit this, and then immediately go to the right. Head down onto the rope. Uh, you can actually head down if you wanted to, get hit by the spikes. Um, but we need to jump up to the right, up again, and hopefully you would have reached it before the doors close on you. Uh, if not, then, well, sadly, you'll just have to do that again. Watch out uh, right here. Wait for the platforms to go down before I be stupid. Now, for this bit, there's basically a dragon that's going to go past you in the background, and as you see the exclamation mark, it's just obviously doing this legitimately, you're supposed to jump over him. Um, while, all the, while all the meanwhile, trying to kill all the rest of the enemies. So, again, this whip would be bloody goddamn tricky. Um, otherwise, you can just, uh, just be careful not to fall. I do and end up losing Dax, or Dex, sorry, that's why you're going to uh, end up on the bloody spikes or whatever. Uh, so, just, just platform... Not like me, okay? You can platform a lot freaking better than me. Okay, so we are done with that level. We are going to come up to the Desolate Woods. Um, that's just another short area where we actually fight Rosaria, or whatever her friggin' name is for the last time. But we're actually going to head back to Sanctia for the moment. Um, and what we're going to do is get the Crimson Combo, the A. Um, I personally have enough gems at this point. Again, if you don't, that's fine. You can just come back to this later. But if you do have enough gems, uh, what we need to do is remember with the Plummet... The plummet combo and the planet finisher and all that jazz. We need to be doing that now with the A one. Um, and that is basically on the bottom right hand corner. It, it is a really confusing weird skill tree. Uh, but past the basic combo. It's on the right hand side. For some reason I'm just not getting it. Oh there we go then. So we're going to choose the aerial uppercut. Choose the uh, you have to. In fact you don't have to choose the critical. Uh, because you go right and then eventually it's going to go down. Uh, come on, boy. Ah, there we go. So we finally made it. So <laughs> then choose the aerial follow-up and then the aerial finisher. And uh, just like the plummeting move, uh, you just press up on the 
uh, left stick this time. So press up on the left stick, X, press the X button then three times, and that will give us the uh, combo, the Crimson Combo Air Achievement. Slicey as nicey. So again, you can do that. You can do those on enemies eventually, anyway, if you wanted to. But easier to not have any pressure, right? Even though we're invincible and we've got no pressure anyway. Right, anyway. So now we can head to the desolate woods. Bax is going to appear for a third time. So he's going to be immediately on our right. Here he is. The tragic case of Bax and his dribbling, cockeyed, dribbling nose. Whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Uh, make sure to speak to him a couple of times there just to get it to, you know, really count. And that will be the third or the fourth times that we've spoken to Bax. Otherwise... We're going to smash Rosia's back doors in again. And there we go, Rosia. Just stop! You're tearing me apart, Rosia. <laughs> if anyone knows what that is from, I will give you three dollary dues. Um. Anyway, we are coming up. This is basically the last chunky area of this particular area before we head into the last area uh, to get past the spider webs. By the way, just hit the um, big spider-infested home at the top. That's how you get past that. Um. So again, this one is quite a long level before we can finally head up to the final area as long as Cardi B's scrunching pisses off and leaves us alone bunch of holy hell in spiders in this one Australia should be used to this mine so I don't think it's going to be any problem for the Australians playing this <laughs> to, to be fair because like I said Australians who have to deal with this crap on a daily are pretty much hardcore and a lot more better than us Brits who get real teary-eyed at the sight of one wiener spider. This is just Australia on a, on, on, on the daily. The Britons are pretty much pathetic um, little whinge bags when it comes to bugs. That's why we don't do so well down under. <laughs> Although fighting trolls is a British specialty, especially on a Friday and Saturday night. <laughs> so, we win at something.
Welcome to the Mystic Relling Time. Relling. Relic Time. Uh, so, speak to this weird creature called Ray. It's a very nice name for a weird creature. And basically, if you. Um, when you jump, hit the A button again and you sort of do this little nice bit of gliding. Head to the left, sort of glide all the way to the left, right underneath where Ray is. And this is where the next whale relic is. So, that'll be that one for this area. So, now we can just continue on as normal. Right, so we're coming up to the end of the chapter, but basically this next bit, if we speak to Big Ray right here, um, what you're going to see on this next bit is like a big massive target on you, 
right about here. So obviously when that's happening, again, if you're playing it legit, um, obviously you just avoid this as best you can while trying to destroy all the enemies. Um, but of course, since we are playing with invincibility mode on, well, you know, you don't really have to give too much of a monkey's ball sack, ankle's nut sack, do you? <laughs> so we can just keep uh, heading forward to the right. Now, if I was playing that legit, I would have died a long time ago. And, ah, oh, see, see, I told you, Cardi B and her scourge tour is back. Back in Typhia Marsh. Ugh, so just go and do this one. J just get it done. You'll be okay, I promise. Y y you got this. I believe in you. I can't tell you how tiresome those scourge tours become. Anyway, we can now get to the final boss, the Toxic Marksman, Zelios, which is a pretty badass name, actually. Uh, but this one is another tough little boss battle, um, legitimately, anyway. Uh, so again, it's always just a case... Th these bosses normally have a couple of moves, uh, sort of two or three moves, and it's always just a case of avoiding what you can. Um, you know, even if you're playing with the legit, you know, it takes all it takes is just a couple of practice goes before you have it down easily. Uh, but again, since it's invincibility mode, well, just kill him. Job done. Everyone's a happy. <laughs> Oh. 
Now we finally have the wall jump. So press A and in the direction that you want to go um, for the wall jump. It can take, to be honest, I'm not even the best at wall jumping. I suck absolute donkey nuts at wall jumping, to be fair. Uh, but a little bit of practice and you should get it with no problems. In fact, if you're all probably a lot better than me at gaming anyway. Even though I give you game guides, but still. Uh, so you'll probably be able to wall jump better than me. But for some reason, it always took me a few tries to get into a proper routine. And how to do it properly. So we got the final area that is now open. And we are now roughly about 50 minutes from ending the game. We speak to our beloved Fluffter Wafter. Who's looking extremely sad again. Um, but that's all good. So, cheers, Emmett, for all your help standing there and talking. You haven't given me no help at all, you stupid old butthole. Uh, take a look, see if there's any skills that you can afford. Uh, if not, again, don't panic your nutsacks off about it there, or your girl nutsacks. Uh, we can get that one later on. So, what we need to do is actually head all the way down. What we're going to do is uh, grab the... Relic and do the challenge. So going all the way down to Typhia Marsh and now we can head to the left. Remember we couldn't before and wall jump your way up. So again, press A and then go in the opposite on the direction that you want to go. So if you're on the left side, go to the right and vice versa. You should all know how to wall jump by now. Um, just keep on heading up for now and there's going to be a key for us. Not that key, not a few druggies out there, not that kind of key. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, it's not even a key, it's a statue anyway. Sorry, sorry, uh, cokeheads, didn't mean to offend you there. Um, anyway, so this is not the challenge, but we can actually now go to the right, obviously to the new open space, to the Typhia Deadlands. Now, it's here where we find the relic and the key. So head to the right, a couple of enemies will appear, but head inside this uh, obviously not creepy looking crypt at all. Uh, you can grab the key because the relic is in the next room, and then we can go all the way to the right to finish this off. But here's the relic anyway, the skull. Which is obvious, since we are in a creepy-ass crypt. Uh, grab the key, and then just keep blasting all the way to the right. Find the little secret. Um, which, to me, looks like everyone who worked on this game. So, hi everyone! What's going on? What's going on, Captain, and Kevin, and Ryan, Nicholas, Colin... Fontaine, uh, uh, well, hi everyone anyway. <laughs> We're going to head to Cedarstone Cove. Now, of course, since we've got the key, we can head to Cedarstone Cove. And all we need to do, we just need to do this bit. And basically, we need to get back on decks. So, go ahead, grab the key. Um, so, we can open up this golden gate right here. Get onto decks. And then we can just go right into the next area. And so, uh, when we get into the next area, we need to be doing a bit of dismounting and a bit of wall jumping as well. Very easy, but uh, as, as we see, just past this statue, so jump, dismount with the right trigger, and then wall jump off. And hit this next button. The gate that we previously, of course, couldn't access is now accessed. Uh, so head on the decks and just keep heading all the way and to the right. <laughs> so. 
Mr. Air Mouth said cheese. That's got absolutely nothing to do with this bit. Or uh, we can just head through, uh, slap the statue in, go to the next area. And this is where challenge number five gets complete. <laughs> yes. We're getting there now. We're almost three hours in. My voice. This video, this whole game in this video, to be honest, has aged me by about 12 years. Yes, that is challenge five out of six done. Thank God. So now we can just head to the last area. So to do that, you need to go to Minstrel Peak. And we need to go to the Tempest base. Basically, we need to be doing a whole lot of wall jumping. So hopefully, uh, you have the wall jumping ability down like a clown Charlie Brown. Or whatever the hell that means. Because this is the area we need to go then. So this bit's fine. It's this bit where you need to be pretty decent at your wall jumping. So, it's a long way up. I kept failing magnificently. I uh, started getting pissed off magnificently. But I took a 10 minute break and came back and done it magnificently. So, hopefully you magnificently do this bit. Magnificently. <laughs> Lovely job, mate. So, when we get up here, we can now head... Uh, to the right, to the newly opened door, to the Shivering Spire. I don't know why we couldn't have just gotten the wall climb ability anyway earlier and come here earlier, done it all earlier, but apparently that's not a thing. Anyway, we are about 30 to 35 minutes from uh, nearing completion of the end of the game. Again, this, these areas, the Tom and the Monolith, etc., Pretty much the same as we've been used to, except there are a lot more sort of invisible platforms to worry about. And the enemies, again, playing a legitimate way, uh, can get bloody... <laughs> can get quite difficult. But here are the invisible platforms. Not too bad. Easy to get used to once you know what you're doing with them. Um, we've got these Snookies there. Snookies are bloody everywhere in this world. Uh, but as we'll see in just a bit, um, <laughs> there are potentially trickier enemies to get through. And um, we've got these like electric snake things. Just hit the head of the mouth, give that a little nut, and that'll be destroyed. Otherwise, it's not uh, not not too bad. Again, obviously we'll be doing a lot more wall climbing this time. So hope you got your wall climbing pants on or thumb pants on. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah
So even that would have been a pain in the ass. Green balls, blue balls, I don't want any balls hitting me, thank you very much. So we've got this worm right here. Basically we need to find th uh, four buttons, but the another main thing we need to find before we do that is find the relic. So head up and then to the left. Uh, watch out for a snooky who wants smooch smooch. Uh, obviously, you know, again, a legit player would be hurt by the worm. And right in the middle here, wait for the worm to go up and then wall climb your ass up. Yep, and this is where the next relic is, the sword. So we've only got two or three left, I believe, now. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, you will find the three buttons to smash in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, there'll be one here, top right-hand corner, one bottom right... Uh, yeah, bottom right corner, uh, and one in the middle, and I believe one in the top left as well. Tell you what, that one worm can get about, can't it? Bloody hell, it seems to appear exactly where you are. That's mad, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus. Um, anyway, so here we go. Uh, we got de <laughs> some incredible hardcore Grim Reapers. Deaths, by the way. Also, just want to ask anyone who uh, may be watching from Jersey. Uh, you know, with the whole Snooky and Shmoo Shmoo and South Park saying muff cabbage. Is that an actual insult? Is that a Jersey thing? Muff cabbage. Is, is that an insult? Because that's freaking hilarious. Uh, by the way, here is another potentially tricky bit. But of course, you can always use your left trigger to kill these... I mean, I don't know. What what are they supposed to be? Are they supposed to be like um, evil Daffy Ducks or something? They look like evil Daffy Ducks. Anyway, just keep heading up. Um, we are actually, I believe, coming to the end, uh, I think, of this level. Oh. Now, I tell you what, if this doesn't remind you of that one Mickey Mouse game, cannot remember it at all, 
But it's when you play as Mickey Mouse and the enemies are excruciatingly quite difficult. Um, but apparently we've got to uh, kill off these sort of rabid, rabies-infused, psychotic Daffy Ducks again. Whatever the hell these are. Oh, man, I cannot remember the name of that friggin' game. World of Illusion, that was the one. World of Illusion with Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse, or Castle of Illusion, depending where you're from. But that was the game. Ah, oh, this just gives me those Mickey Mouse vibes anyway. That was a hell of a game. Good games on the Sega. Everything's more of a cash grab these days, isn't it? But, uh, not everything, of course, but mostly, mostly. Uh, brilliant music going on in the background, but again, it's just a case of um, we need to be hitting the snake in the head. We can't actually get, even though we've got invincibility on, we can't actually get through the weird snake electrical body. We need to hit its head. Don't give him head, because I reckon that'll hurt as well. And bam, that is one done. Now we go into the Grand Archives. The Grand Ar 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 Archives, as you can imagine. We've got a mini boss fight to do first, but the level isn't really a level at all. Right, now we have to go and speak to Bax for the final time. Um, right, if the achievement doesn't unlock for you, if you've done this in two or more sittings and the achievement doesn't unlock for you, what I would recommend, if we head all the way to the right, it's just past the purple floaty books here, Bax will be on our right. Now, I did turn the Xbox off, but I um, started up again with quick resume. The achievement unlocked for me, no problem, but people have reported that uh, the achievement hasn't unlocked if they've done it in more than one sitting. So if that happens, quit out of the game and just go to the four locations where Bax is and just speak to him again, um, and it should unlock that way anyway. So that's just in case the achievement yeah. doesn't unlock. Um, but hopefully it did for you there with no problems. Now what we've got to do is actually hit these in a particular order. The first one is the green potion, the third one over. Then hit the purple moon, the first or the one on the very left. Hit the diamond and then hit the sort of sun kind of looking thing. That'll open up the way and that'll make us move on. And oh god damn it son of a bitch ah, you ah, son of a... <sighs> so apparently we've got one more Cardi B scrooched tour to get through. It's the Cedar Stone Plateau. Oh god I tell you what do you like my itchy nuts. You just won't leave me alone when I'm begging you to. Maybe I should go and get that checked out. Anyway, do this crap, and this is the final one. The final, final one. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
I can tell you right now, I got pretty freaking annoyed seeing that bloody Cardi B scourged tour again. Uh, but anyway, that is finally the final one. Now we can head all the way back up. You don't have to go through... Uh, I didn't think you have to go through Minstrel Peak. Anyway, if you do, we're, we're heading up to the Minstrel Spire. And we're going to head up now to the Monolith Chambers. This again is quite a big level and the same shit we've done before sorry the same stuff we've done before <laughs> um you know so we're going to be killing a lot of psychotic daffy ducks a lot of rabid wolves um collecting a relic um yeah you've done it <laughs> baby you've done it oh, yeah. oh. So as we finally exit out of the cave hole, all we need to do then is just keep going to the right. Uh, stay with the bottom as much as we can here. I want to suck your blood. Or oh, whatever the hell they were supposed to be. Uh, just keep, uh, yep, 
Keeping it with the bottom, keeping going all the way right. Basically, we're going to come up to... Oh, hello, Sonic. What's up? Sonic versus Knuckles. You're going to see this exclamation sign. You're going to need to do a jump and dash over. As soon as you kill this guy. There we go. And another one. And this is where the relic is. Find the bone. The bone of life. The life is good. Now, what we need to do to get... Basically, what we have to do is get to the top level and go to the left. But what we need to do is hit two of these electronic snaky dealies first. Um, the one on the right doesn't particularly matter because we can't get through. The only thing that's over on the right-hand side is a lot of jewels and stuff anyway, a lot of gems. Um, so kill this guy. I think it might actually be able to be good to go all the way over to the left-hand side now. Um, but I didn't check, if I'm being honest. Um, instead, I died. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I end up just hitting another snake and then going up the top all the way to the left and then heading back, um, more or less where we came from, but on the top level this time.
ba ba bim 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 now we can go into z -Lock's laboratory but we're not quite done because we got big two bosses to fight anyway z -Lock's laboratory again it's another mini boss so kick these guys asses <laughs> Now, this is a short one, but we have to make sure that we've got at least 2,000 gems on us. And now, this is very important to basically get the final challenge key. Um, so, hopefully you should have enough. Um, if not, return to the map, you know, return to the previous level or a shorter level and just get a whole bunch of gems. But if you've been following it along, you should have roughly about 2,000 anyway. Uh, now, what I would do is kill every single enemy in here. Again, bump up your gems for one. But the guy is hiding behind like a bookcase or something, and we need to uh, we need to speak to him. So you know, preferably without enemy enemies, we make our life a hell of a lot easier. Uh, so this should be the last uh, Snooky right here, the old muff cabbage, the old piss flap muff cabbage. Now, right here, you can see a pair of eyes. So press up on the D-pad and speak to Bram, the Lamb of Vision Varm. Um, <laughs> right, so he wants 2,000 gems. We're going to give him the 2,000 gems. This is... I wish it was that easy to make two grand, mind. Oh, I found this um, treasure key. Aren't I forever? Would you like to buy it for two grand? Oh, if only there were more suckers in the world. Anyway, we can now head out. We can uh, end this level, but we can now go and do, finally, the last challenge. And where that is? Well, it's in the Grand Archive, of course. So before we go ahead and do the boss, the second to last boss battle, oh, looks like the final one, but it's not. We're heading down to the Grand Archives. Immediately go up the ladder to the right of you, um, past the floating red books, over to the other side, and this is where the door is. Do this final challenge. This was fantastically tricky. I honestly tried it without um, the invincibility cheat on, and I got my... <laughs> I got my... Well, let's just say I got my anal fissures handed to me, incredibly so. So yeah, this one is a bloody hard one. But of course, check your invincibility on, and it's not so hard. <laughs> and you should get the achievement, the challenge is challenge achievement after it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ah, the sweet, sweet sound of a rare achievement unlocking. Right, now what we are going to do then is face Imbra, the Shadow Sorceress, who is basically z bitch, is what we call the assistant bosses. Again, another very, very tricky boss fight to do legit, but... Ew. So I'm not sure if when you die off the platform, if you've 
uh, damaged Imbra and you die off the platform, that all her health goes back. I'm not entirely sure about that. So just be careful, just keep whacking her every time she um, appears. Or floats past you or whatever. Also, I'm sorry that I didn't have any advice for anyone there. I literally didn't have a freaking clue what was going on uh, in terms of uh, for the legitimate players. Um, really did not have a flabbing clue what was going on. So we've got a penultimate level left to do. So we do have one more relic to collect. Uh, but we need to head back down into the monolith chambers. Luckily, it's not a full time level or anything like that. Again, we, we don't have any Cardi B tours left to go. This time we're heading left. We're going to wall climb up and then just head left again and basically that's going to get us the second to last level. Thank God for that, damn it! And there we go. This is the Citadel Reach. This is where we're going to get our final relic, but the achievement won't unlock. We need to give them to the downgraded Snorlax in Sanctia. So before jumping on decks, head straight down to the right and finally, that is where the final relic is. Happy days. Right, now what we can do is jump on. Um, personally, I found it easier to use the uh, up and down buttons on the D-pad. Um, but here, we're going to be coming back here at least another six or seven, maybe eight times to get enough gems to finish the all-skilled-out achievement. Um, so you get more by actually busting the boxes... Uh, otherwise, it's it's not too bad. This is a very, very short one, but like I said, we'll be coming back here after the main game's finished to collect enough gems to get every skill. And here we go then, up to Z-Lock's Citadel. Did you know Z-Lock is French for the lock? <laughs> um, right, so we're going to head to the right. Basically, Z-Lock has... I mean, he has a couple of moves, but what he does is get all the bosses that you fought before. Aha, unlucky Rosier. You can suck my balls. Anyway, what Z-Lock does, he's an angry looking man. He kind of looks like uh, King Zod from, uh, King Zog from uh, Disenchantment. Anyway, so what Z-Lock does, he, like I said, these bosses don't have as much health as they do before, but of course you will have to try and avoid them, again if you're playing legit. Try and avoid them best you can. Um, you don't actually have to kill them, after a while they will just float away. And 
he will get the next two mini bosses. Again, it, you don't actually have to fight them if you don't want. You can just try and avoid their um, their stuff, their moves before they go away, and then Z Lock will appear. Come up with some incredibly hard, powerful moves. Uh, so you'll be doing this for a little bit before we get a little surprise. Oh, of course, there's always a surprise. Remember, obviously, to always use your anger, whatever you can, as well. Crap, dude, this is Cardi B's final form. So, Cardi B on her Scourge tour. This is the final end of the Scourge and Scourge. Uh, and again, just like Imbra, there's a lot of crap that's going on. So, uh, I haven't got any tips for you. Sorry, legitimate players. I just try and attack, attack, attack as best I can. Because this one is a tricky boy. But for those who are playing Invincibility, i.e. me... Trying to avoid the uh, green waffle ball of death as well. Uh, just keep attacking wherever you can, and eventually he will perish. Wow, I literally, I'm shaking right now, guys. I cannot believe I've done that with, I, ca I can't believe i just done a no-death run with invincibility turned off. <coughs> yeah, yeah, so anyway. Yeah, invincibility, didn't even have it on. I was just lying to you this whole time. No death run. <laughs> of course, that's a lie. Watch this um, lovely final cutscene before we, we um, oh, he's, got, oh, he's only got one tooth in his head. How old is this bloody kid? Anyway, the, uh, the credits are going to appear. z -Lock looked a bit looked a bit dead there. Oh, no, he's got two teeth. Christ, he can grow his teeth whenever he wants, can't he? Ah, uh, that's nice. But the credits are going to roll. We are now going to get the final couple of miscellaneous achievements that we haven't yet got. 
And I'll tell you what, like I said, even with the invincibility on or off, that was a fantastic game. Really, really did enjoy that. And so here we go. Start the game then. Obviously go into your file. You don't want to be starting a whole new game again. Screw that, yo. And we've got just a couple of things left. What do we got? What do we got? What have we got? So, of course, first thing we're going to do, go to Sanctia. And we need to go all the way to the left to the downgraded Snorlax Yombal. And we need to give him every single relic. I did give him five earlier, which you didn't see in video. But giving him all 20 gives us a big reward. And it also gives us the Yombal Happy Achievement. <laughs> Okay, next. Now that we've got a lot, I think I had roughly about 28,000 here. We are now going to get the Try Hard Achievement, and that's having an enemy frozen, burned, and zapped simultaneously. But to do that, we need to go up. You see the three at the top, the three question marks at the top? We need to buy the Magic Charge SPD Plus, and then we need to buy the Electric Magic Plus, the uh, Frost Magic Plus, and then the Flame Magic Plus. So, if you didn't have it before, basically, you would not have been able to do this at all. Um, now, for whatever reason, I could not do this with just the one dummy. I had to have them both together. So, uh, spend, about a <laughs> spend about a minute or so whacking this dummy over to the next one. Okay, now when you get them over, you need to do it in this order. Fl fire, ice, and lightning. So, press and hold left, left trigger, release. Go to ice, do the same, and then do the same with the lightning. And then that should be the one that unlocks the achievement. So again, for whatever reason, had to have two of them there. And there we go then. So the only one we've got to do now is the all skilled out achievement. And that will also complete the 101% complete achievement. So with whatever um, gems or money or whatever you've got left, spend it on whatever the hell you want. It literally doesn't matter. Uh, but what we need to do... Now the best thing... With the Citadel Reach, sorry, I'll explain that one first. So with the Citadel Reach, you can get roughly between 700 and 1,000 gems um, per go. Um, so what I did was I calculated how much exactly I had, uh, how much I had left to get. And then obviously just went on there. So for me personally, I still needed uh, 13,500 gems to be able to get all the skills. So doing this... I've done this, I think, around 10, about 11 or 12 times, 10, 10 to 12 times, um, coming in at around an extra 15 minutes. So I spent about 15 minutes doing this uh, before I was able to afford everything. So, you know, th this level takes no time at all. It's literally less than a minute. Um, even if you don't move, you can get a, a roughly around 500 gems. So even if you just keep uh, pressing the A button every once in a while, and then getting on decks, you can just get 500 that way. But the quicker the better, right?
excitement levels reach 100. So when you've got enough, as you can see there, I've now got 13,887, plenty for me. Now we can head to Sank TR. Head past the old man who has not moved all game. Is he okay? I wonder if he's had a, you know, a bit of a meltdown or something. A bit of a stroke and he can't move. Um, anyway, uh, grab literally every single skill level that you can. If you do need more, of course, just um, go ahead, go back to Citadel Reach. And just do that mission a couple more times. Otherwise, this is it. Whoop, whoop. So, when you unlock all the skills, you should now unlock the all skilled out achievement and you should also unlock the 101% complete achievement. That's for completing all levels, acquiring every relic and learning every skill. So, just want to say a big, huge, massive, massive thank you to everyone who ha uh, continues to watch any of my guides, but especially this one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the game. Like I said, it was a fantastic game whether you've done it legit or whether you've done it um, invincibility mode on like me. Uh, I, I really do hope that guide helped and that the relics and the uh, challenges and everything in order helped big time. Please let me know if it did help. Of course, with that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Don't forget to check me out on all my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Patreon. Big huge shout out to everyone on Patreon, especially Patreon who continues to support the channel. You guys and gals are absolute legends. And big shout out to everyone who uh, continues to support me regardless. A big huge massive thank you. And that is that then, guys and gals. Woo, thank God, I'm going to take a lie down now. I'll see you in the next Game Pass game. Big love.